counterclockwise to increase the power. If you look closely there, you'll see that there's a little bit of a green pen. So there's the green mark there. One, two. See, if those turns that I've done today are going to make it any better. Alright YouTube maniacs, loads of people contacted me about how you adjust that little GS2 sensor. If you're lucky enough to have one of those, I've got one in my little Honda Civic because my little commuter car, always around London in it, and it's brilliant. And it just gives it that little extra boost, but you can actually increase it. And the manufacturing instructions tells you how to do it, albeit maybe a little bit um, ambiguous. So I thought I'd do this video, it's far easier than typing to everybody that asked me the question. Two hours ago, somebody um, by the YouTube name of Badsby has asked me, and this is for you, man, how do you adjust it? Can you make it a little bit clearer and simpler what I need to do? Well, I've got the answer for you. This is it. It's a little bit counterintuitive, but when you increase the power, there's a little tiny screw. You need one of those little, almost like a sunglass screw. You know, the sort of thing that you would have in the top of your sunglasses, and it's a flathead screwdriver, and you need to turn the screw anti-clockwise, that's what we say in the UK, counterclockwise in the US, and in the instruction manuals, um, it actually calls it just turn left. <laughs> Nevertheless, uh, counterclockwise to increase the power. Clockwise is when you wanna decrease the power. Can't think why anyone would wanna decrease the power, but nevertheless, that's what you do. And when you do adjust it, you need to turn it, they say, four to six times at a go, take it for a drive, see what it's like, see if it's good for you. If not, turn it back or if you find it hasn't increased in power enough, then do it another four or six times. If you find though that it's starting to get a bit lumpy and it's not quite behaving as it should, then go back. So if you turned it six times and it's not very good after a few days, turn it back six times, which would be remember to the right because you're decreasing it to get that sweet spot that you wanted and then you're okay. So enough talk, let's have a look in the engine and you can see what it's all about. If you look closely there, you'll see that there's a little bit of a green pen. I want that green pen there is just to help understand how many times I've turned it because it's so small. So if we go back to this little screw here. Okay, so with the screwdriver obviously on the screw, just turn it until you see this and you've done one full rotation and do that six times. I'm going to go to the left, remember, which is counterclockwise. That's supposed to increase the power. So, so there's the green mark there. That's one, two, three, four, five, and that's six. So we've got six turns now. In the instructions, the manufacturer says that the unit's designed so that if you keep turning and you forget how many turns you've done, it automatically gets to the end but it won't stop, there's a, there's, a, there's a prominent click. And when you reach that click and you'll feel it on the little screwdriver, then you know you've just gone back to the start so that you can start again. So if in doubt and you think, how many times did I turn it? Keep turning the dial until you feel that click, then you know where you are, then start again, then do another six turns and then another six turns and so on. So if you decided to join me and subscribe and do the bell and everything, then you'll see that I'm actually going to do a follow-up and see if those turns that I've done today are going to make it any better or any slower. Let's find out. Stay with me.